Nanometals have a wide range of applications from medical applications to weaponry and military use. Adequate availability of nanomaterials continues to be a problem as its production consumes huge resources. This prompted Karthik, an IIT Madras alumnus and a young technology entrepreneur to look for an alternate way of manufacturing nanomaterials. We've devised a mechanism, a technique of making these nanometals in a bulk scale using plant extracts. Sri Maharshi Research Institute of Vedic Technology. So they worked on you know, getting these nanomaterials in a green route. So we've taken the process from them, we have adopted it, we have changed it to suit our needs and then we have come up with these technologies. Karthik's company Arshadhatu has come up with a unique technique of deriving nanometals from metallic ores with the help of certain herbs after about eight years of research. We do this process at room temperature. We don't need big equipment to do this. It's a very simple equipment which we use. Process happens in only 15 minutes. Okay, and the whole material comes out in less than two hours. Once the material comes out, we don't have any affluents. It's like completely 100% clean technology which we are using. The company started manufacturing nanomaterials in 2011. Then it worked on a pilot project until 2015. Initially, there were issues of funding and plant setup. Harshadhatu did not receive any support from the banks or private investors. Karthik joined the GCIP India Accelerator program in 2016. So GCIP has given me the networking, okay, so I was able to meet many clean tech innovators there. So I am happy that I have witnessed their technologies. Since we are only technocrats, we don't know much about business. But then they have given us the business tips, the models of working, the marketing strategies, the sales strategies, okay, and, and then also financial models. The primary product manufactured at the Arshadhatu plant is nano copper. R&D continues on more products like zinc, tin, lead, and iron. We have aimed shipping industry starting. So India alone spends 1.8 billion US dollars on this market only for repairing and repainting the ship. Uh, so we have developed a coating which prevents the corrosion and also fouling at the same time. The other product which we have developed is antibacterial fabric. So we put nano copper into this fabric. So this prevents the bacteria from entering in your body. The list of client institutions includes ISRO's Satish Dhawan Space Center. Now Karthik is aiming at the export market with nanotechnology based products.